So the final update of 2019 wasn't exactly what we may have been hoping for. And honestly, having reflected on our discussion from yesterday and a little bit further, I partially expected this after we talked about it a little bit, that today would be rather quiet because it's still the holidays. Staff from the studio are still out, not everything is back in full swing yet after people went home to visit families and all, so the second half festivities likely are a few days to maybe still even a week away at this point. But while we wait to round in the new year, or perhaps you're already there depending on where you are in the world or when you watch this, I want to take some time today to discuss what really changed in this update for Modern Warfare, the final update for 2019, or I guess, again, if you are already in the new year, the first for 2020. To which, if you are in the new year, I want to say firstly, Happy New Year. I wish you the best of good fortune and good luck to you, your family, and friends, and I hope it's a fantastic one. But on top of talking about what changed here within Modern Warfare, I want to discuss afterwards a little bit further what this slight road bump means for what we've been anticipating for the immediate future and the timing of what's still to come. But anyways, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What did you enjoy out of the update and what are you still hoping to see? As well, if you're new to the channel, maybe considering that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare. Especially if you're a part of that nearly 70% of viewers who have checked out the content but may not be subscribed. If you want to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare daily, the content will still be here all the same, but the option's there. Anyways, though, let's jump into the changes at hand. First and foremost, there really isn't a whole lot that changed today. I'll be totally blunt with you. The biggest part that really changed was that of the playlist refresh. When you take a look at that main menu selection and what you have on offer for your game modes on that main panel, you'll end up seeing your quick play, which includes everything you're used to, realism mosh pit, ground war, standard gunfight, and then the changes of the new mode of grind and also shoot house 24-7. Now, grind is the only true new piece of the puzzle here with this, but it's something that's a lot of fun and I definitely recommend jumping into. It's Fracture from Black Ops 3 and Stockpile from Black Ops 4 with a slight twist on it. This time it has two deposit sites instead of just the normal one that rotates like a hard point. This, you end up gaining tags from kills like you would in Kill Confirmed, but then you have to deposit those tags at a site. It doesn't just naturally add to your score. Again, there being two deposit sites that you can end up utilizing, but one will disappear at the halfway point of the match. So far, I've found that it's actually insane for XP at times if you play the objective. That's the big if. I'll be totally honest, there's nothing quite like seeing 10 or so tags drop when a player is killed, not only because you get that immediate score boost from picking up the tags, but you also get a really nice deposit boost. Which, by the way, new and grind is the Mega Bank, which is when you have five or more tags, it deposits four tags at a time. It won't do it if you only have four tags, but five and above, it will deposit in increments of four. So if you end up having nine tags, you'll end up getting two Mega Banks and drop the final tag as well, depositing nine tags in the time that it would take to deposit three normally. But say you end up having 10, you'll end up having those two mega banks in which you'll deposit eight in the time it takes two, but then those final two that you have will deposit like normal, where you end up having then the ability to deposit 10 tags in the time that it would normally take to deposit four. So on top of an XP and score bonus with the Mega Bank, the other cool part is that each Mega Bank also offers you a kill bonus towards your streaks. So you'll see in the clip on screen right now that before depositing two Mega Banks, I had two kills towards my UAV. But after that, I actually got the UAV because I had again those two Mega Banks, bringing me up two kills in total for my streaks. Now, if you're working towards a nuke streak or something like that, it doesn't work like that. It's not towards your gun kills, but instead just towards your streaks. So it's really nice that it offers a a little bit of a bonus to those that maybe don't have point man on you end up can working towards your air quote streaks as score streaks but in a different capacity it's kind of like a middle ground between kill streaks and score streaks but the mode is certainly advantageous if you play the objective and the game mode offers a ton of xp in a short period of time I recently found what I definitely think is the best way to rank up no question getting 20,000 xp every two minutes in a totally legitimate way which we can talk about at a later time, but this is probably up there in my top three ways right now to rank up, so I'd highly recommend playing. One thing that I will say though is the mode is definitely really sweaty right now and there's plenty of campers so far, but perhaps your lobbies are better than mine. While trying to play the objective as much as possible, I don't think that I got much more of a streak over six, so it's been a rough one out here gameplay wise, but my XP yield isn't exactly complaining. Just my stats at KD. Sometimes you can't have both though. Then Shoot House 24-7 of course was re-added. This taking shipment out of the rotation 
in terms of the immediately accessible. You can still access it in the regular rotation, but you just won't have it as much. So I'm sure that there's going to be some people asking for shipment 24 seven or shoot the ship coming back here, which may happen. But honestly, I have no idea. Shoot house 24 seven though, for the immediate future is that replacement. What this means though, for the game modes coming up though, I would imagine is that capture the flag is what we see next week. If we haven't seen anything of a title update that adds new modes in for the foreseeable future, the only other game mode that we know about that's in the game, even though it hasn't been really publicly acknowledged or mentioned really is that of capture the flag. It's in the leaderboard stats. It is something you can check out, but you can't load up in private matches like you could with grind but it's there. It just needs that flick of that switch. So I'd expect that to be coming. The final things though that changed here today were that of the shop refreshes. With new items, surprisingly three new featured items this week, making only this week's and last week's visible for the players who haven't bought any of those. So coming along this week, we ended up seeing the Deathbringer bundle in which that's 2,400 COD points to which for that price tag, you end up obtaining the Angel of Death Operator outfit for Charlie, the Death's Voice Origin 12 shotgun skin, the Sulfuric 1911 skin, the Time to Kill Watch, the Scythe Melee, the Insatiable Calling Card, the Long Tooth Emblem, the No Getting Up Operator Quip, the Between the Ribs Finishing Move, and two Tear Skips. Admittedly, the only part that I really find even remotely interesting is the Operator Skin and the Weapon Skins, to which... I kind of care the least about the operator outfit because it's a first person game. I'm never going to see that. But the weapon skins, if they were on weapons that I'd use regularly, I'd totally consider this because I do think that both look really good. But at the end of the day, I don't use either the Origin 12 or the 1911. So I think I'm going to pass on this one. The second bundle added is the Tacticolor bundle for 1100 COD points, which comes with the Butterfly Kisses Car 98k skin, the Pegasus handgun, the Over the Rainbow charm, and the Visionary sticker. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you, and I think this might upset some of the people really interested in realism. I actually think this one's really cool. I think it's hilarious, and I really like it for that. I'm not going to lie, I like a little bit of vibrance and camos, and is this largely a realistic camo? Probably not, but something about it to me is just, I don't know, man, it, it sticks out. As well, the upper looking case hardened effect on the metal, I think that's really cool. And that's the part that will actually mix with your camos. So you can get a cool little Damascus gold camo hybrid going to an extent if you use it on a weapon that you've got gold. I think that looks really cool. So this one for me may be hard to pass up, especially since I'm about to start working on my car 98k camo challenges, but we'll have to wait and see we'll see where this one goes and the final bundle that was added here with this one was the bronze knight bundle for 1600 cod points which comes with the relentless bison skin the stone cutter sa87 the chest move charm the tan diagonal sticker the thunder knight spray and two tier skips to me the most appealing of these are the tier skips the weapon skins aren't all that great to me the rest i'm really not intrigued by at all so this one's gonna be a pass for me but it's also been added there if you're interested at all but all in all like we said, that's the only stuff that was really added here for this update, which means it's a really small one, not a whole lot like we mentioned. So the reasoning again coming back to this is why? Well, everybody's still on holiday break. With today being New Year's Eve, with tomorrow being New Year's Day, people are still going to be with their families for the last couple of days before they have to head back to the office. A lot of these guys being international and then having to fly back to Los Angeles from Europe, from other locations all over the world. So it is something that I'd imagine things pick up back to regular speed in a relatively short time frame here. But what does this mean for the upcoming content and what we can expect with the rest of season one? Well, like we mentioned yesterday, it wasn't really wild of a thought to consider that perhaps later in the week we may see some sort of an update for the true middle point of the first season for Modern Warfare still to come. But at the same time, we also may not. One thing that dawned on me a little while after the video yesterday went up was the timing of things overall. Not necessarily just week to week, but overall on the entire season. When you consider the timing of what's left in season one, Modern Warfare's first season has just about five weeks left. Well, four weeks in like five days and a couple hours and change if we're being entirely accurate because it ends precariously on a Monday this time. But that means that at some point that two week cycle that we'd become accustomed to for content drops since launch would have to break, meaning that there were two deviations and two possible outcomes here. Either one, we got an update today, then in two weeks, we got another update. Two weeks following that, we got another update. And then one week after that, we'd have the season two refresh. 
but instead with this perhaps layover now we see the possibility of an update as of next week maybe then two weeks after that another update and then two weeks after that is the season two refresh so it's something that we're bound to have one weird week regardless but it was kind of just a matter of when and that was something that i really didn't account for whenever thinking about the season at large and so in that case we may see some sort of return in terms of content later this week that may bridge the gap that makes it a two and a half week span maybe but at the same time i'm not really putting all my chips in on that bet it just kind of seems off given the timing of everything and what's at large in the bigger picture and again coming back from the holiday break i'm not saying that something couldn't have been ready to ship when they get back from break but coming back also they wouldn't have much time a day or two at max to make sure everything was good to go out so having thought on it a little bit more i think what we discussed as of yesterday was actually a little bit off i think i was wrong and therefore will hold my reservations until a little bit later but we really just have to wait and see how everything will work out now so that said that's the update here that we had for the final update of 2019 or perhaps again wherever you are in the world maybe the first update of 2020 and so i'd love to gauge your opinion and your feedback here on this is the or anything in particular you really liked if you have jumped on so far do you like grind do you like the shop items whatever it is feel free to let me know your thoughts but hopefully you enjoy the video and if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things modern warfare if you guys want us to deal with all things updates news information tips tricks we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected outside of youtube practically live on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below and one final time here for the last time in 2019 or in this decade if you want to call it that truly from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for the continued support 2019 was the best year for this entire channel's history and over the last couple of years i cannot thank you guys enough for that continued support as corny and cliche as it sounds you guys truly changed my life so thank you so much for sticking around the channel thank you guys for supporting the work we put on here and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you guys so much. Here's the 2020. Let's do some of the big things. And I'm excited to see what it brings for all of us. But that said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Happy New Year and peace.